using multiple calibration artifacts in PCDMIS. Sometimes the only way to calibrate complex stylus setups is to use more than one tooling ball inside of uh, the PCDMIS calibration utilities. So let's look at how to set these calibration artifacts up and look at what benefit they may, may be to the user. The first thing we need to do is to select a probe buildup that will allow access to each of the calibration artifacts without crashing. The probe I uh, have here, pH 10, points straight down in the Z minus direction and should afford access to each of these tooling balls. The next thing we need to do is add a hardware profile that describes this tooling ball. So under measure probe we're going to select add tool and we're just going to build up the profile for each of these calibration tools. It's important that you get the calibration artifacts vector correctly inside of the edit tool dialog. You'll notice this green sphere points in the Z plus direction and so I've input a vector of 0, 0 and 1 and then down here I've added its size. The next thing we want to do is add the second tool which is this orange artifact. So I've selected the add tool icon, the add tool dialog appears and Again, I've got the vector the same as what I see inside of my graphics window here. Uh, shank vector for x is minus 1 because this uh, shank points in the minus x direction. And we've got our size down here. We can click on OK to save it. And now what we need to do is we need to locate both of these measuring artifacts inside the machine's measuring volume and that's simply done just by measuring them with tip A0, B0 using the probe configuration that I called up. I'm going to start with the green one, uh, the green sphere first, so we'll select that and we'll select measure. Now at the dialog that appears has the qualification tool been moved or the CMM zero point changed? You want to select yes to this. The next dialog to appear is this long message right here. For now, we'll OK pass this. We'll discuss this message in just a moment. So now PCDMIS knows the location of my green calibration sphere. What we need to do now is locate the orange calibration sphere in relationship to the green calibration sphere. So we're going to go back and we're going to select measure. and this time under the list of available tools we're going to grab the orange calibration sphere and we're going to select measure inside of here. Again at this prompt we're going to say yes the qualification tool has been moved. Now this is what this dialog means. Uh, in order for tips calibrated on the new tool position to relate to tips calibrated on the prior tool position T A0 B0 must have been calibrated on the prior tool position. And we've just done that. So this is the dialog that creates that relationship or at least affirms the creation of the relationship between the green sphere and the orange sphere. We'll just select OK here. So that we've now established the relationship between the orange and the green spheres and we can now use this relationship to our advantage to calibrate uh, odd and unusual probe buildups. And we're going to do that next.